Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and well, today we're going to fix this very old heating pad. Now, one of the reasons I want to fix this heating pad is because, well, it gets really hot. I mean, there, I don't think there's any safety precautions with this thing, which is a plus and a minus, the fact that it gets really hot, which I like when, well, my back hurts. And some of the newer heating pads don't get as hot, they're not as effective for me, but then again, like I said, the safety element is not quite there anymore. Now, when I go ahead and press the buttons on this heating pad, there's supposed to be a little light in here that lights up. That's not lighting up. I believe everything's connected together, so if that light isn't lighting, the heating pad isn't actually going to heat up. So we're gonna take this apart, take a look at it, see what we can do. Okay, so let's start by taking the back off, and that's really, I mean, there's just two screws. It's nothing too difficult there, that's for sure. Now you can see all the insides and how everything's wired up in here. You can see, well, how the actual switches work and such like that, and obviously, we can see that the light itself, well, is disconnected. It broke at some point, probably just from tugging on the end of it here. So we'll go ahead and solder that together. I'm just trying to tin the one side, or the one lead from the light, and then tin the other side. This way, when I put them together, you know, they'll solder up nice. Just because there is a bunch of wires there, you need to heat it up first, really get them hot, and then get the solder flowing to it. And we should be okay. Now, well, let's just put it back together, plug it in, and see if this fix worked. Oh yeah, that's getting nice and warm. I'm kind of curious here. 116 degrees. I don't know if one side's different than the other. Eh, same, 115, 116. So that's pretty warm. I'm gonna go lay down, heat my back up, loosen up some muscles, and I'll see you on the next one. 